Sorry about the late match reaction tonight. I was on a flight, but I've landed now. And all we need to talk about is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Because once again, he's got Manchester United winning today against the odds. Because Man United won 3-1 there against Crystal Palace without 10 first team players. Without Matic, without Herrera, without Martial, without Lingard, without Rashford for the start of the game. Anyway, he came on towards the end. But Manchester United massively depleted in terms of the first 11 that Solskjaer would have wanted to play. But Manchester United won. And I would argue pretty comfortably, other than the 10 minutes after Ward scored, where Crystal Palace came into the game. Solskjaer needed his players to step up today that came in for those players who were injured. And Romelu Lukaku certainly did that. It was more like the Jose Mourinho Romelu Lukaku than the Solskjaer Romelu Lukaku. He came in, two good finishes, right foot in the first half, great run by Shaw, who continued from his man of the match performance against Liverpool with a great run there. And Lukaku, as I said, great finish into the bottom right-hand corner and an even better finish for that second one with his foot high up. Should have gone over, but great technique. But I'm so impressed by what I saw against Crystal Palace because that was a game where I really genuinely felt Manchester United could have faltered. Because under Solskjaer, we've seen lots of different types of games and lots of different types of wins. You know, you've got the buzz win against Cardiff and then you've got the 2-0 down against Burnley coming back towards a 2 all draw. Not a win, but still a great performance. Then great wins away at Spurs, away at Arsenal, away at Chelsea. And today, we had 10 players out injured. Yet Solskjaer has got such a grip on that team, such a grip on that dressing room, that the tempo didn't massively change. Yes, there was a real lack of cohesion, I would say, in that, in that attack. We had plenty of possession, but we didn't really threaten too often in that first half, up until the fact that Lukaku scored that goal. But just, I'm so impressed by what I'm seeing by Manchester United and Solskjaer right now, that is it at this point where you say, surely Solskjaer has to get the job? Because we've seen so many different scenarios of Solskjaer using different players in different games against tougher teams, against lesser teams, with injuries. He's coped with pretty much every scenario that he needs to cope with so far as a United manager. And he's come out of the other end of it with a win, other than PSG. And I would say that was down really to the injuries in that first half. I think we had PSG as a stalemate in that first half up until Martial, was it Lingard, got injured. And then we crumbled. Maybe we can get a miracle in Paris, but it's, seriously, I don't think we will. But Solskjaer and his United team today against Crystal Palace there, that was a game where I genuinely felt we should have slightly faltered. We should have, not the wheels should have come off, but it should have gone downhill somewhat because of how important those first team players, as far as I'm concerned, have been to the tempo that we have played so far. But it didn't. It really didn't. And United there, in the end, comfortable 3-1 winners thanks to that breakaway Ashley Young goal down the right. Ashley Young, again, cropping up with an important goal. Fair play to Ashley Young. Still think that he needs to be replaced at right back. But fair play. Great for him to be there at that point. And a decent enough finish. But United today, I'm so fucking impressed. So impressed. Solskjaer hasn't just got this United team winning the odd game by a scruffy goal here or there. All winning when things are going right for us. When things are against us, it still works. This United team still goes strong. Yes, towards the end there, I'm sure some of you would have loved to have seen Chong come off the bench, maybe Gomez. But Solskjaer turned to Rashford. He turned towards the players that were important to him at that point in time. And you use academy players at the right options at the right times. And that, for Solskjaer, Clearly wasn't the right time. But again, another win. This United team marches on. Solskjaer marches on. Try and tell me a reason right now why Solskjaer doesn't get the job full time. I'd love to hear it. But let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. As always, I do apologise for the late match reaction. It won't happen again, hopefully. Until next time, take it easy.